Porter, say hi. Porter's over here watching the show on the iPad. We have a TV set up here, but I don't think it's a smart TV. So we need like a fire stick or something. So we're just gonna have to make do with the iPad for now. Gray, say hi. Hi. Good morning, you guys. <laughs> We just survived our first night in the new house. Um, we are waking up to our first morning in the new house, obviously. The kids did great. Gray stayed in his room all night. I wanted to put a door or a lock on his door because I was worried about him getting out and who knows what. But I decided to, to not do it because he got scared or something. But he just stayed in the whole time and then came in our room at like 720. So he actually did really, really well. And Porter cried a little bit going down to bed, but then he um, eventually fell asleep and slept in until almost eight, I want to say. So yeah, sorry, I'm like still in my jammies and stuff, but I'm vlogging today because not only is it the first morning in our new house, but it is Anthony and I's wedding anniversary so we are celebrating six years of marriage today which just blows my mind i would have never guessed like six years from our wedding we would be moving into our second house but here we are so anthony and i are going to go out to dinner tonight i always say we get to do one fancy dinner a year on our anniversary so we're going to go to a place called jeff ruby's steakhouse i feel like they have them all over the u.s you've probably heard of it but if you haven't it's just a really really fancy very expensive steak restaurant so we're gonna go there. It's actually in downtown Columbus. So we are going to have my parents come over tonight and watch the kiddos. And we're gonna go on a little date, which we haven't been on a date in a really long time, actually, because we've been so busy with the house. So this will be really nice. And we're just gonna like celebrate our marriage because um, we gotta make time for each other. Um, we're slowly moving into the house. Yesterday, Anthony, well, Anthony did a lot of it, but I helped. We unpacked like a lot of the kitchen. It's kind of weird because this kitchen has way more cabinet space than our old kitchen. And so we're having a hard time like filling up all the cabinets, which isn't a bad thing, um, but just trying to figure out like, where should this go? What should we do here? I'm sure it's going to be a lot of like rearranging as we live here longer, but um, I'll show you guys. So we're just slowly like putting glasses, coffee mugs. Um, I think we have plates in here. Yeah, plates, bowls. So just trying to figure out um, where everything goes. All of the cab, all of the lower cabinets, I'll show you. So we have lots of bottom cabinets, like this is the sink and then this is like our big island. But I'll show you, like every bottom cabinet is the same and they all have pull-out drawers on the top, which is really, really nice. Uh, we never had that at our old house. So it's just trying to figure out where everything goes. Also, we're trying to figure out like the electronics in the house. We finally got our Wi-Fi internet set up last night, so that's good to go. I need to connect like they have a nest thermostat here very fancy so we need to like connect that there's a ring doorbell so we need to connect that so just trying to figure out um all the technology and stuff but anyway yes today is our anniversary and so anthony and i for our anniversary we do traditional anniversary gifts it's just fun. It takes out like the hard like, oh, I don't know what to get you because we already have like birthdays and Christmas and Valentine's Day and blah, 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 blah. So this just makes it kind of like fun. Okay, sorry, the kids are fighting over the iPad. Um, so every year we do traditional anniversary gifts. So one year, like the first year it was paper and then it's like leather. We've done, I think last year was wood. One year it was like fruits and flowers. So it, it could be anything and it just kind of is fun for us to do. So this year we looked it up and this year the gifts are iron and candy. Super random. So um, I have my gifts for Anthony. I wrapped it. My mom I was living at, with her at the time. I wrapped the gifts. She only had Christmas wrapping paper or happy birthday wrapping paper. So I wrapped it in Christmas wrapping paper. And then for the candy, I went with a candy card instead of, because usually I'll like go buy a card at the store. But this time I got like a candy card. 
So anyway, here's what I'm talking about. This um, is Anthony's iron present. It's a um, it's a cast iron skillet. Sorry, I'm trying to be quiet because he's upstairs. And then I made him this card. Isn't this so cute? I, I looked it up. I, I can't take credit for this. I looked this up online and kind of like pieced together different um, candy cards that I found. But it just has like all the sentences and then you just fill in certain words with candy. So I think it turned out really cute. The only problem is I forgot to pack tape. All of our tape is at the old house. And so I couldn't tape any of the candy to the cart. So that's why it's just laying on the ground and it's just going to have to stay there. So it's kind of funny. I was going to like tape them and like have the card like up and down but it's just gonna have to lay on the ground because otherwise the candy will slip and fall and then you won't make sense of what it's saying but that's my gift for anthony um and yeah i'm just excited to celebrate with him today we're also doing some pictures for my social media job we're gonna take the kiddos and kind of do like a photo shoot so it's kind of gonna be a busy day and then of course just like unpacking as much as we can so i'll keep you guys updated as the day goes on It's a little of a mess I'm trying to organize. I think I need to buy another one of these toy organizer bins. But my mom got, well, this is an early birthday gift for Porter. She got the kids a nugget now that we have more space. And the kids are loving it. Hang on, I'll help Porter. Okay, I helped Porter up. The kids are absolutely loving this nugget. They think it is so fun. Um, there's lots of different configurations you can make it into. You can make it a tree, a tent, a carport, a mountain, uh, in and out. Uh, I mean, just so many things. And so they are loving it. They're loving climbing on it, jumping on it. It's like their own little piece of furniture. You can actually make this into a couch. So it's really cute. The kids are loving it and loving having all their toys back. I'm still working on these boxes. <laughs> um, yeah, I have a long way to go. We had so much fun at our anniversary dinner last night. Anthony and I went to Jeff Ruby's and it was probably the most expensive meal we've ever had. I wanna say it was so expensive. Anthony got a steak and his steak was like $94. I got the smallest steak they had because I just don't need to eat that much. And my steak was like $54 or something. I mean, it was really good, but it was so expensive. I don't know how people can go there like all the time. That was like a one and done for us. We go once a year, very fancy, and that's it. So it was very expensive, but it was fun. My parents watched the kiddos. And um, Gray found, I bought like a bunch of board games one year on Black Friday because they were like five dollars or something and I was like oh when the kids are older like we'll play them and Gray found the box that I had and so he found the game Shoots and Ladders and so we've been playing that he loves that game I can't believe he's actually old enough to like get it he does cheat a lot because <laughs> it's just a spinner and so he like spins so that he gets the ladders and avoids the shoots but it's still really <laughs> cute but Anyway, I think that's going to be it for this vlog. Um, we're just going to be spending the day um, unpacking things, um, trying to figure out where things go. We've been really hitting the kitchen hard, so we're almost done with that. I've been working on the kids' bedrooms. It's a little hard because I can only do like the closets right now because the dressers are still at our old house. So we're just making do with what we have. But. Trying to work on the basement slowly, but surely kind of hard when the boys are constantly making messes, though. Can you guys say bye? Bye. Say bye. Say thanks for watching. Bye. Say thanks. Bye. Thanks for watching. <laughs> say see you later. See you later.